What up players, Wobots here for this mod. Today we're going to unbox and review an Ogre Kingdom's Tyrant. And this can also be used as an Ogre Kingdom's Bruiser, I think. Um, I think that's correct. But I am doing this because it's one of the items on my Warboss wish list, which you can see and join the fun at warbossta.blogspot.com and make a make a comment on what you'd like to see unboxed, reviewed, or a painting tutorial done on. And uh, this is for Profit. All right, so Profit, here we go. Unboxing the Tyrant. First, you've got this body that comes all by itself. It's not on a sprue. And I took these pieces out of the plastic box already just to check them before filming. And the, um, the sculpt on this guy looks pretty good. I couldn't find any really noticeable uh, air bubbles. I did see a little mold line down the left side of his leg. You can kind of see it as I turn the model. But there's no air bubbles or miscasts that I really noticed in the skin, which is, you know, the biggest the biggest thing that you want to look out for because that's really hard to, f to fill in the gaps for. Um, it's got some hooks and these little dangly things hanging off of his belt. So there it is by itself. When they made this in metal, they used to have these little these little pegs on the bottom of the feet where you can drill a hole in the bottom of the 40 millimeter square base and slot them in and, and glue, glue them to the base that way and that helps a lot more than if it wasn't there. So for those of you who are wondering, new and inexperienced gamers and modelers, that's what that little peg is for. Don't snip it off, don't cut it off like I did um, back when I first started and I was like, what is this? They added something that's not supposed to be there. Nope, it's supposed to be there. Okay, let's take a look at the first accessory sprue. It's a fine cast double-handed weapon and there's a lot of flash on it which you're gonna have to clean off but I when I was looking through it I didn't see any really bad mold lines or any bad air bubbles just a lot of flash and also you can kind of see here on the head where it looks like there's a fingerprint from the molding right over there on the left side and I don't know, is that supposed to be there? Is that in the metal version that just got carted over or if that was, if that's an actual huge miscast, but it looks like a lot of small fine lines like a fingerprint. So there's that if you want to use a double-handed weapon. Personally, I'm going to be using a double-handed weapon as an option. Here are two gut plates. There's one with a hand weapon, a sword strapped to it, and a little blade. And then here's one with horns on it and a lot of skulls inside. So, personally, if I'm um, not going to be using a brace of pistols, then I'm, I would probably go for this one because it looks a lot bigger and meaner. And then I'll, you can use the other one for your, um, for your iron guts if you're building up other models. Then we've got a little knoblar over here dragging a weapon. It looks like a chaos weapon by the, by the hilt and the handle, and it looks like it's broken. It's got a great little expression on his face too. Oh boy. And then um, you've got a big tenderizing hammer for one of the two hand weapons. Then for the left hand weapon, you've got this big knife. And um, you've got the two arms for the to hold to be holding the double-handed weapon. So it looks like you only get those two as a, as choices. You have to choose according to this, either two hand weapons or a double-handed weapon. If you've got your Ogre Kingdom sprue um, and you have extra bits and pieces left over from whatever, um, from whatever, I guess, options, you might be able to do one just if you want to take a bare bones tyrant or bruiser, you might be able to uh, kid bash up a guy with just one hand weapon. But I don't know why you would want to. It seems like these guys, you either want them with two hand weapons for dealing out more attacks or a double handed weapon for higher strength. And that's what I'm going to go for. So I'm going to go for a double handed weapon. You've got one face over here, one ogre tyrant head there. And then the set also comes with another one that broke off. So I'm going to show it to you here. This is the one you see on the box. Very Mongolian looking, Genghis Khan ish. And then you also get this one last little piece that fell off the sprue. It's a knoblar that seems to be dragging along the ground. So I'm going to be putting this knoblar onto the model because it looks like he fits, like he has to be dragged across the ground like this. 
Uh, the other Noblar, the one that's holding the Chaos Sword, I'm probably gonna put on a different sprue and throw it into my Noblar unit, my ever increasingly bigger Noblar unit. Um, okay, and that's that's all I've really got. My, my thoughts are that I'm gonna build this guy with the head that comes in the box. And for his gut plate, I'm gonna do a little magnetization thing where I'll uh, do a video on how I'm going to magnetize him to have the brace of pistols that comes with the Ogre Man-Eater set. So I can either have him with that gut plate, or when, if I decide not to have him with the brace of pistols, I want him to just not have it and save the points on it, then I'll magnetize the plate with the horns on it and throw that on the front and give him a much bigger, more impressive stature. Okay, so I'm gonna build this guy up right now, and I'll also be filming the how to magnetize video at the same time and we'll see you at the end of this video with the wrap up to show you what he looks like all built up. Yeah what up players! Okay so we're back now this is the end of the video I, I um, assembled my, my tyrant here and I decided to magnetize two out of the three gut plates that I had ready for him. The one with the horns just looked a little um, a little funny because it, it came out at a, at a weird angle and um, it just seems like it would be more, it, it looked too busy, it seemed like it would be more appropriate for a model that's wielding two hand weapons at its side where you can really focus, the eye can really focus on the gut plate just because the gut plate is so, has so much detail and it's, it's meant to look like it's, um, you know, pushing the model forward. Uh, you don't want to obscure that all that awesome detail like the skulls and the teeth and the inside of it. So I decided to go with this simpler one. It's got the Tyrant's hand weapon strapped to it. I magnetized the back of it, which you can see how I do in my How to Magnetize uh, Ogre Tyrant video. Should be rendering and uploading about the same time as this one, so go check that one out. I've also got a brace of pistols for him, the one that you get on the Maneater sprue. Magnetize that. Put a little magnet in the back there, and now I can oops, just throw that on as well, and the magnet will hold that to his body. So there you go. Here's the finished look of the model. I decided to use one little knoblar, the one that's um, kind of looks like he's being dragged along, uh, just because I, I didn't know how else I would put it, stick it in, in my knoblar unit, and I think it's pretty funny to throw on the back of the base as a cute little detail. And uh, you might notice that I've got some blue stuff out of the green stuff holding him to place because when I first put him on, even though I drilled a hole for his foot to go into, um, he was having a hard time staying in place and the, the model, just the way it was balanced and weighted, it wasn't um, sticking in place the way I wanted, so that definitely helped. Uh, green stuff definitely helps for that. And um, let's see what else we've got left over on the frame. First of all, I used one of the, one of the knoblars to put on a base and now he's going to join the rest of my Noblar unit like I said so that's going to be awesome he's dragging his little broken chaos sword behind him from a chaos warrior really like that and on the screw you also get this one arm and I just realized that this there's a little Noblar holding like pulling the I guess what looks like the wrapping of the sword wrapping it while the, the ogre is wielding it it's kind of strange, you can't really tell what he's doing just because there's so much flash, like I'm pretty sure this is flash that you cut off, but this is like uh, part of the wrapping of the sword handle, so that's kind of odd. And I've got an extra head that I can stick somewhere else, maybe I can convert up a, a butcher out of another ogre bull body and have that as the, the butcher's, um, you know, head, just because he looks kind of, kind of messed up and kind of uh, the hills have eyes or a Texas Chainsaw Massacre and um, on the other little piece of sprue I've got a hand weapon arm so um, yeah that's all I've got as you can see or hear I'm being text messaged my phone is blowing up because the ladies love me the ladies love me the ladies love me stop text messaging him text message me I'm a stud I'm the real man of the house. Woo! Yee! Yeah, stop text messaging him! Stop text messaging him! Nobody blows up my phone! Nobody blows up my phone! I'm all alone! I'm all alone! I'm here for you, Lewis. 
I love you. Shut up, dead body! Alright, that's enough of that. <laughs>